Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we are going to be talking about the track lengths for every single song on the Torture Poets Department and what this means for the album as a whole because they've officially been released. So if you missed it on social media, the track lengths for every single song on the Torture Poets Department has been revealed. We now know exactly how long every single song on the album is going to be, which is going to, I think, help us to figure out maybe what certain songs are going to sound like. It also has helped us to dispel a few rumors. So let's get right into it. First thing is first, the full album from start to finish is going to be one hour and five minutes long. Now, this is not including the bonus tracks. So this is the uh, official 16 tracks are are going to be in total one hour and five minutes long, which I think is a pretty good amount of time for an album. Right around an hour, I feel like is the optimal length for an official album. The longest song on the Torture Poets Department is not So Long London. We'll get to that in a little bit. It is actually But Daddy, I Love Him which is going to be five minutes and 40 seconds long. This kind of blew my mind because when I read the title initially, the song to me seems like it's going to be kind of a fun song in a way. A song, I would not have predicted this song to be the longest song on the album, but a song being five minutes and 40 seconds makes me think that, okay, this girl's got something to say. So that's going to be the longest song on the album. And then the shortest song on the album is I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can, which is only two minutes and 36 seconds long. So pretty short. I'm not surprised about that one though. That one, that one to me seems like a fun, short and sweet song. So that doesn't surprise me, but those are your longest and your shortest songs on the album. As I mentioned, there were rumors earlier this week that So Long London, which is Taylor's track five on this album, that it was going to be nine minutes and 28 seconds long in homage to the fact that Taylor and Joe Alwyn, apparently their anniversary, the first, the the day that they started dating was September 28th. Those rumors have now been officially dispelled because So Long London is four minutes and 22 seconds long. Pretty I mean, a little on the long side, but a pretty standard amount of time for a song. Nothing too crazy. Let me just go through some of the other songs and reveal the length. Again, most of them are in that three to four minute range. Fortnite, the first song on the album, three minutes and 48 seconds long. The Torture Poets Department, which is the title track, obviously is four minutes and 53 seconds long. So that's almost five minutes. Um, and then kind of going down the line again, but daddy, I love him is the longest at five minutes and 40 seconds, fresh out the slammer, which is track seven, three minutes and 30 seconds long. But yeah, most of the songs are in that three, four minute range. The final song on the album, Clara Bow, three minutes and 36 seconds long. So nothing, nothing too crazy. And we know that Taylor is the kind of artist that likes to play around with song lengths and, and, and likes to try new things. And she's definitely someone, I feel like when I listen to the Beyonce album, Beyonce is the kind of artist that has interludes and she has these little, you know, 20 second long tracks or 45 second long tracks that make the album seem much longer than it actually is. Taylor has never been someone, at least from what I can tell, who is interested in putting in those kind of like interlude type of of tracks, but she is somebody who likes to give us a long song. She is not afraid to put a five minute plus song on an album. Uh, In fact, a lot of her best songs, in my opinion, are the songs that are very, very long. Dear John, All Too Well, et cetera, et cetera. So makes me very excited for But Daddy, I Love Him. I am very curious to see how that all shakes out. And this is now officially, because she has a song on the album that is five minutes or over five minutes long, this is now the fourth album that Taylor has put out where there will be a song that is over five minutes long. The first was obviously Speak Now with Dear John. The second was Red with um, with All Too Well. 
Um, the third was actually Evermore, and I'm actually double checking Happiness. Happiness is the song on Evermore that is over five minutes long. And then now we have the Torture Poets Department, which um, has a five minute long song. Interesting thing theme though between Dear John, All Too Well, and Happiness. They're all songs about a breakup. They're all songs about being heartbroken, essentially. So there's a good chance that this song will also make us feel heartbroken as well. Um, I'd be curious to see and hear what you guys think of the track lengths. Are you shocked? Are you surprised? Are you sad that we're not getting the nine minute long, so long London? I would be very curious what you guys think about that. Um, and another fun fact that I read too, is that the Torture Poets Department is the exact same length as Red, which Red is my favorite Taylor Swift album. So I don't think that really makes a huge difference. Like, I don't know that it really matters all that much, but it's just kind of a fun fact. Also, another fun fact before I forget is Taylor Swift's music is now back on TikTok. So every single um, song that Taylor Swift herself owns, you can now use on TikTok in your videos if you want. If you've been living under a rock or you've missed the news, um, a lot of music has been taken off of TikTok in recent weeks, but fear not, you can listen to Taylor Swift's music on TikTok and you can use it in your in your videos if you want. So that's it for today's little quick update. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.